Hi guys, welcome back to an interesting video by Max. Mr. Today we're back with more Injustice Gods Among Us. So, as you can see, the Arkham Knight Catwoman challenge is still ongoing. So, um, that's all. Today, the recent online season has just ended, and Black is Night Doomsday is now the new online reward. So, in survival mode, the Lex Corp set is still active until June the 3rd. So, um, since there is a new online season, we're going to be doing a review on the past online season reward, which was just over, which is the Riddler's Cane. I've ranked in the top 3% and recently just obtained the cane itself, so let's try and find it here. So we're going to be doing a review on it. Alright, here it is. So as you can see, I've got two of them. This is probably one of the worst 4-star gears in the game, if not the worst. So... Without any upgrades, it has 25% max health increase as well as 1% XP bonus to the team. When evolved, it has a 11% chance to blink against special ones, so let's start to fuse it. Um, it takes 4 of each shard. As you can see, we're running a little bit low on blue shards. So, first rank is 1000 as well as 4 of each shards. It's going to increase, each rank will increase the credits by 1000 and 2 of each shard. So, um, as well as, I'm going to be upgrading and talking, so, as well as for each upgrade, it adds 0.5% extra max health, as well as 0.5% uh, XP bonus to the team. So, this is one of the very few gears, in fact, it is the only gear that has a function um, out of battle, which is the XP. I don't believe any other gear has such a function, so, evolving it requires 60,000 as well as 15 of each shot and 5 purple shards. So this will add 4% to the XP bonus and add the blink chance. So it evolves for, to, into the Riddler's Staff, which honestly looks almost the same as the cane. So let's continue upgrading it. So then the uh, shots will reset to 4, but the credits will start to increase tremendously, 5,000 per upgrade. And as well as each upgrade now, at 1% to the blink chance and uh, the max health and the XP bonus still remains at 0.5% so let's quickly get this um, up to the maximum upgrade so this gear um, is used pretty defensively as you can see it doesn't do anything for your attack but it does increase your health so you can last longer and the XP bonus to the team so we have maxed it out so the XP bonus to the team is pretty useful when you're training but overall it pretty much is kind of a useless function because it doesn't do anything in game and the XP bonus could be useful um, so we'll just see about that so yes yeah, so a 21 percent chance to blink at special one so basically one in every five times you will um, be able to not take any damage from special one so let's um, we're gonna be since we're doing a review we're gonna be um, testing it out so let's head over into bonus battle 6 and we already have our team set up so we have cat woman over here um, let's gear up again we're gonna be putting in we're first gonna be putting in um, this combo we're gonna see how much XP is gained with this um, combo. Uh, I believe these two battles give the same amount of XP, so let's see what's the difference. So, without the gear, and I do, I do believe that there was previously a glitch in which if the gear is not on the character in the front of your team, that it does not work. So we'll see if that is the case. So we take the Special 1 of Black and the Electric Burst. So we're going to get off Special 2 here. Whip it. So there goes Black Adam. And here comes Sinestro in. And off the bleed, we knock him out. Alright. So Doomsday is in. And let's get off Cat Claws. Get some poison in on Doomsday. I'm going to drain Doomsday dry here. Sinestro's special one does drain two bars, which is massive. Um, no tag out here because you know he obviously has no one to tag to. 
Let's get Black Adam in and finish him off. All right, so there goes Sinestro. So we get thirty-seven thousand. So um, let's hit in onto Black Adam here. Let's put in the Riddler's King. Or rather the Riddler's Staff now it's as it's called. So it's over here. Let's put it in. And let's enter the battle. So we're going to tag in Black Adam. Uh, one Woman is just over one bar. So let's see. Um, no blinking there. But the chance is not that high anyway. So let's see. We're going to get up another electric burst on Wonder Woman. Alright. Still no blinking. Um, I have seen it work before. But of course I have not owned it prior to this. So... I have not seen it for myself, so let's see if it will work this time. Wonder Woman and one uh, actually drain her to less than a bar. Um, Black Adam is almost out, so this might not actually happen. Batman at two bars. But technically, since the, these are boss cards, I'm not sure if um, they are... that Because that's technically Batman's special too, but it is a special one for a boss card, so that might be why it doesn't work, so... But anyway, let's continue. Oh yeah, there we go. We blinked on special one. So basically, that's the blink. Um, we basically just vanished. So um, let's just get Catwoman in to get our special two. Let's get rid of Batman. Wonder Woman gets the bleed. So there's uh, Wonder Woman out. Superman is in. Let's um, get our Cat Claws. Let's see if Superman will use special one. Um, no, that's actually special too. There goes Black Adam. Let's get off Sinestro's mic. So the blinking does work. Now let's check out the XP. See what's the difference in terms of XP. So that's a knockout. So this time we gain 29. Oh, I'm sorry guys, the XP is not the same. So we're going to enter into another battle so that we can actually judge the XP. So let's put it onto this battle, not on that battle. Um, let's put it onto. All right, it's all right. We'll go into this battle and we're going to replay it twice, this exact same level for the for Sinestro. So, and we'll see what's the difference in XP. So. Um, should have not have tagged out there. So we're still trying to. All right, yes, there's the blink. That's great. So we took no damage from Sinestro Special One. It is useful because I'm I'm pretty sure it'll save you a couple of times. Oh, there, there we go. Another blink. So we haven't taken any special damage so far because we blinked twice. So that's really cool. Right, Black Adam here is only at Elite 2, so he's not faring that well. Um, let's get Catwoman in and get off the Cat Claws for the bleed. Um, that's a little bit better, so. Oh, we get hit by Special 1 at last. Hoping the blink would come a bit more often, although that would make it pretty troublesome on multiplayer. So there we go. So the XP gain here is 18,225 so let's exit this battle oops oops let's exit this battle let's re-enter it we gotta do a recharge here as and and we're gonna remove the gear um, actually we did not need to go into the team so let's see if we gain less than that. And I'm going to see if that um, annoying glitch is still active. Uh, the glitch the glitch being if it's not in your first character. So if we gain the same amount, it means that the gear is not working properly. But if we gain less, it means the gear is working properly. 
and get hit by Sinestro Special 1. Let's get off the Cat Cloth. Ouch. Alright, let's quickly finish Sinestro off. So last time was 18,225, this time we gain 18,225. So it appears that it is the same, I don't see any difference. So we're going to enter yet again into the same battle. And this time, what we're going to do, we're going to move Black Adam to the front. And we're going to put the gear back on. Right here. Let's enter the battle again for the third time. For the third test fight. Alright, let's get the electric burst. Hit on Sinestro. No blinking there. Right, we're kind of draining Sinestro, so. Alright, no blinking there either. Alright, I think we're out of range. But you are still fine. So now I'm back at him in first position. Let's see if the XP is higher than 18,225. And we still get 18,225. So I'm not sure about the XP, but it doesn't seem to be working at all. I have no idea why. It says 15% um, XP bonus to the team, but it doesn't seem to work. And I can't understand why. Alright, let's try to move it over to the first gear slot. Um, maybe that's why. Which is, it doesn't make sense anyway, but let's try all the possibilities. So, in the final test fight, we're going to enter the same battle again. Facing Sinestro for the fourth time. So, here we go. Although I can confirm that the blinking is working and the health should be fine as well. However, it really does not seem that it's uh, working for the XP. So I have no idea why that is. It does not make sense, obviously. Let's just pound away at Sinestro. Let's get out the Teth Atom. Shazam! There you go. Stomping right on the back of Sinestro. Alright, we did blink on Special 1, though. So can confirm that that, that part of the gear is working, so... Let's get a special one off the combo. That is enough to finish the Nestro. So now let's check out whether it's working. And no, it does not work. Um, so apparently that part is broken, which now makes this gear even more useless. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video on the review of the Riddler's Kane slash Riddler's Staff. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.